So now we come to the in the test itself, it's going to go around a four bar sequence, and it's expected that you kind of put a little fill in to show the end of a, a sentence, like, like the end of a sentence, you put a little fill to, to sort of suggest the end of the four bar phrase. And uh, the second, if you scroll down on this uh, exercise sheet, you'll see that there's uh, six examples of fill ins. I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate these in the sequence. So, so I'm going to do three bars of playing a basic groove, and then on the fourth bar, do the each individual fill. I'll do it a few times. I'll do it at the same speed. The first one just involves um, coming off the ride uh, after one, a two, a three, and a. And you'll notice if you go left, right, left, right, it would lead to your crash being on, if you're going to crash, with the left hand. So you could do it the other way around if you want to lead on to your right hand crash. Just vary the sticking. I'm fairly comfortable with crashing with my left, and it's a good thing to get used to. It, it's quite a useful tool to be able to crash with left or right. So here we go with uh, three bars groove, and then the fill on the... Uh, this is fill number one on the fourth bar. One, two, three. One, three, a one, a two, a three. Bar three, a two, a three, and the fill. A two, a three, and a one, a two, a three. Bar two. on the last one there I did left right left left that's another way of getting onto the right hand as well to change the stick into left right left left and that leads onto the right hand crash okay number two is this one is just taking beats two and three and playing two and a three and a and they can be taken around the drums like two and a three and a or two and a three and a and just ex uh, just uh, experiment with different ways of playing them, but it works absolutely fine just on the snare drum too. And the, the the ride cymbal, just before you start the fill on beat two, you can leave that if you want. You don't have to necessarily play the one, a, two, and a. So you can just play one, two, and a, three, and a. Yeah, so your choice. One, two, a, three, a, one, a, two, a, three, a, two, a, two, a, three, a, three, a, two. experiment with how you take them you know move it around the drums in different ways but I would certainly get the one nailed first on the snare drum because that's a really basic one and a, a very widely used one anyway and number three this one's a little more tricky to practice you might want to practice the sticking for the fill which starts on beat two first so it's going to go right left foot right left right so you're going two and a three and a and again the the symbol on the end of the first triplet one a two and you can leave it out if you want and just play one, two and a three and a. And as you can see, it's le it's landing on the right hand there, so it would be ideal to crash with your left hand on the on the first beat of the next bar. Uh, right here we go. One, a two, a three. One, a two, a three, a three, a two, a three. Bar three, two. Number four is a little, a little more di difficult to, to to grasp to start with. It's it's like if you imagine going 
two and a three and a, but missing out the and of two, two and a three, and missing out B three, so you go two and a three and a, two and a three and a, and we're playing that round two and a three and a, two and a three and a. Again, you can play around with the stickings. Uh, I've just written left, but you could play. Doesn't really matter with that amount of space between the notes. So this one's a little more um, difficult to get the feel, but uh, it doesn't take too long if you if you just uh, put a bit of time into it. So one, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a two, a two, a three, bar three, a two. Here's the fill, and one, two, a three, a one, a two, a three, bar three, a two. Uh, here's the fill. Three and two and two. Bar three and two. Here's the fill. And one and two. It's actually a little easier to do if it's a little bit faster tempo. Actually, it's, it's a little more tricky at that tempo. There's so much space between those rests. And number five, this is the first one where we're going to actually begin the fill on the first beat. So you're going to do the downbeat. We always put the downbeat on the bass drum. And then we're going to do a, the first little rhythm. It's got two semiquavers in the middle. So it's uh, one and the and. One and the and. And then you've just got a two and a, three and a. So it's one and the and, two and a, three and a. Yeah, so... Maybe practice it uh, by itself first to get the grips with the uh, learning to count. It really helps counting one and the and two and a three and a. Here we go one a two a three a one two three bar two two three bar three a two is the fill and one and the and two and a three and a one a two a three bar two a two a three bar three. A two, here's the fill, and one, and the and, two, and a, three, and a, and two, bar two, and two, and three, bar three, and two, here's the fill, and one, and the and, two, and a, three, and a. So again, you can choose, you know, you could do, or any combination of drums. As long as you get the right amount of notes, it doesn't really matter too much. But I would, I would certainly get that one down first, because that's quite a... It feels quite natural to play that descending um, down the toms sort of fill. And number six, we're back to playing mainly on two and three, but we do have a little setup on the bass drum on the one, a two e and a. So this rhythm's got the two semiquavers at the beginning of the triplet, so it's two e and a, three e and a. And if you just do it right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, that works out fine. Leads you back onto your right hand. So number six, one, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a two. Bar three and two and three and one and two and uh, three and uh, one and two and three and two and two and three and three two three and fill two and uh, three and uh, one and two and three and two and two and three bar three and two and three and fill and two and uh, three and uh, one. So there you go, there's six example fills, and I'm sure once you've done those, you could probably experiment and get a few of those by mixing and matching some of the ideas. And I hope that helps with the improvisation, at least on the, the examples that say 3-4 shuffle. Always.